Thank you, uh, Andre, and uh, I am the last talk, or I will give the last talk uh, for today. And uh, thank you for the great day and for the organization, even though uh, it was quite a bit harder than usually. I will talk briefly about uh, how to switch to NF tables on CentOS 7. So this is an operating system that is um, available for six years already, but still has four years left uh, for the support. So I thought maybe some people still use it and um, are interested to use the newest technology even on such a conservative system. Uh, if you want to uh, follow the presentation live, then uh, you can scan the QR code and it will transfer you directly to the presentation. So who am I? Uh, I am Adam Kalish. Um, I am a late co-founder of orgpet.com. That is the software that this presentation is written in. Uh, and uh, just during the last two months, I migrated about 20 CentOS 7 servers to NF tables in production. So uh, I think I have some experience uh, to explain it to you. Uh, if you want to contact me, then you can write me an email or um, you can go to my uh, website, adamkalish.eu, and there is also uh, the same contact. So uh, a bit of history about NF tables in RHEL or CentOS. Um, NF tables uh, is present in the operating system for quite some time already. Um, it was first present in the 0.3 release, but became fully supported in the 7.6 release. So how, you, how can you uh, actually install it? Uh, so it's quite simple, install the NF tables package, then copy the configuration uh, that you created to etc sysconfig nftables.conf. And um, I just figured uh, that you should probably include a CT state uh, statement somewhere. Uh, because you probably had it uh, by default from the firewall D rules. And uh, if you don't include it, then uh, the contract uh, kernel modules will not be included by default. So if you do include it, then uh, NF tables will load the needed kernel modules for you. If you don't include it, then you have to take care of it yourself but most of the people I know would at, uh, use at least one city state rule, for instance, to allow um, answering uh, outgoing traffic. Uh, if you don't know anything about uh, NF tables, then uh, it's not that much different from IP tables in that it still uses the same uh, hooks in the kernel and I provided this small diagram where you can uh, look up um, so, some of the information. So when a packet arrives, how, how it actually goes th uh, through these hooks. Um, and I provided some resources uh, where you can read more about NF tables if, if you haven't done so already. Here is also a very small snippet that is basically just the extended co default configuration uh, that is shipped with the um, NF tables, <coughs> excuse me, uh, NF tables package. So we configured NF tables. Now we want to start it and use it. Uh, so there are two options if you want just to start it and but not enable it. Uh, by default, uh, if, if you enable NF tables, then it starts on boot automatically. So that would be the second option. Uh, for uh, I used system control enable minus minus now NF tables, and uh, this enables NF tables uh, and starts uh, NF tables immediately. Uh, if you still run IP tables in the background, um, 
as as long as um, there are some rules that accept traffic in IP tables and uh, rules that deny the same traffic in NF tables, then the deny uh, rule wins basically. So uh, the traffic will be blocked. Um, you probably want to back up uh, the old configuration. Uh, maybe you missed something and you will figure out later on that was the case and you can still look it up. Um, so don't forget your backups. Well, then I always like to verify that I have done everything correctly. So NFT list rule set minus A even shows me the handles so I can um, change the rules on the fly if needed. And well, um, then you can remove firewall D uh, that, that is the default uh, firewall uh, management uh, tool, basically. So if you remove it, then you also remove all the IP table rules and even the rules that were input with the direct option. Uh, so basically raw IP tables commands, but just configured through the firewall D inter interface. Uh, at this point, uh, you should see only the default policy. So that, that would be except for input, output, and forwarding. Uh, and uh, as I said before, if, uh, if you accept something in uh, IP tables, but deny it in NF tables, then the deny rule in NF tables wins. Um, if you have a cluster, then I recommend switching the inactive nodes first, uh, failing over, and then uh, doing the rest of the cluster. So um, yeah, that is just a small advice. And this is the too long didn't read gist. Um, I wrote it in such a way that you can basically paste it in the command line. Uh, it will hang on the VI command, but uh, uh, that, that is something you should change anyway. So uh, yeah. And uh, that's a wrap. Uh, thank you for uh, the attention. And I will answer some questions if there are any. There is a question. Uh... Would it be possible to switch just uh, to switch to NF tables with current configuration from firewall D changes backend of firewall D from IP tables to NF tables? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I think uh, the firewall D version in CentOS 7 doesn't support NF tables as a backend, but I don't know it for sure. So you need to look it up. Uh, what I I dislike firewall D quite a bit because it's very limited for my use cases. So I was quite happy to let it go. <laughs>